In this quick tip video, um, we're going to learn about XREF Manager and how to utilize that in our day-to-day -day task on AutoCAD. So one, uh, the way the command starts is by typing in XR into your command bar and it will pull up an XREF Manager that looks like this. Now for this particular circumstance, I started with a new file and I'm going to click here, Attach DWG and then we'll later explore attach imaging. So attach DWG, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a plan and when I press OK here, it's gonna come in as an attachment or as an overlay. If I bring it in as an overlay, this drawing will not print and it will simply be an overlay where it's hidden from all printing and all documentation. I could bring it in as an attachment and therefore it will print when it is um, when it is placed inside this file. I'm going to bring it in as an attachment for this particular circumstance. I'll sep uh, specify the insertion point on screen or you can or you can just simply say not specified and it'll come exactly on the coordinates that it is drawn in another AutoCAD file. So let's go ahead and press OK. And notice how I can specify I can call this 0 comma 0 and it will be exactly what it was on the screen. My X factor is going to be 1, so I'm just going to press Enter. And then my Y factor is also going to be 1. I can just press Enter there. Now, if you want to scale it in one direction or the other, I would highly recommend you do that on the parent file or the original file and not on this file. And we're going to repeat these steps again. So it was XR, and then I clicked here attach DWG, selected the file, and I'm going to go ahead and select a different file at this point. I'm just going to select roof details, press open, then I'm going to select overlay for this one. I'm going to specify on screen, I'm going to say press OK, and then I'm simply going to press uh, click into the drawing space and press enter, enter, and therefore I have this as an overlay. Now this particular file will not show up when I print because it's an overlay. This will show up because this is attached and you can switch the type based on here. The current file under the XRF manager is the file that you're under. Now if you come here under the drop down menu you can press on the arrow here and you can see where the file is located. If you have any XREF issues, it is primarily because the file that this is under is no longer where it's supposed to be. So it'll show up as an explanation po point and the file will disappear. So you simply cl click on the save path and then you'll change it to where the file is actually located. Now, the next thing about XREF Manager is what is the purpose of using the XREF Manager? So, if I go back to one of the files that I have attached, and I, minim I minimized the XREF Manager to the left side, now if I go into this prototype file, and let's say I have someone on the same server working on this file, and I'll just draw an X through this, press enter, and let's say this file is being worked on by my colleague, my coworker, my partner, however you want to call him or her, you press Control S. This file is saved here. It was worked on, it's attached to my file. And notice when I click on reload, it will update the file here. Now the point of using this particular method of of using the XREF manager is it allows for multiple people to make progress on the file while you have multiple desktop working so you're you're making progress on the files simultaneously on the project at the same time and you can have multiple people working on the same drawings so for example, a person can be drawing a plan and 
at the same time, you have someone drawing the elevation. And you can coordinate that back and forth through meetings, but at the same time, there's no time being wasted when it comes to drawing for an XREF manager. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and press check. That means that I have accepted the changes of the XREF manager. This is a new feature in AutoCAD. It used to be where it automatically upstates. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring in an attached image. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same step. I'm gonna take away the auto hide. I'm gonna press on instead of attached DWG, the small arrow next to it. And I'm gonna click on attach image. Now when I cl uh, click on attach image, I'm gonna simply go to desktop and I'm gonna bring in this image. Now this image that I'm bringing in, I'm going to bring in one to one and I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. This time I'm gonna select the insertion point, drag to increase the size of the image and I'm press away. I can bring in images of floor plans um, and then by using scale reference, so let's draw a line and using scale reference, I could scale this down to the size that I want and then trace over it in AutoCAD if this is particularly the layout that I'm looking for. So if you find an ideal plan on Pinterest, if you see something and you want to bring it and bring it to scale, you can draw a line specifying that line to be let's say let turn my ortho on six foot three plus six foot five is twelve foot dash eight inches press enter i'm going to move this plan from relatively this point to to there and i can scale my image sc From there, R, enter, there to there, and relatively bring it down to where that one side is more or less 12 feet. And therefore, I can get the dimension for the water closet, and, and I can work this plan as an image into my AutoCAD drawing and after tracing it, I can modify it. For more, uh, for more content like this, please like, subscribe, and comment below.